I know that you're a fashion designer. Are you still based in Ghana? I'm still based in Ghana. I, I mean, I was raised there, went to school there, so I am based in Ghana. And our factory is in Ghana as well. So one thing that really gets to me is I feel like a lot of, we don't have enough women back home who are um, in positions of leadership. And everyone, when I say leadership, everyone thinks CEOs or money-making ventures, but it's more governance, right? And it irks me so much. So that's why with the clothes, we, I will always say I'm creating pieces that make women feel bold enough to step out and like take positions of leadership. Now, I have this idea of starting some sort of a center, but I don't know where to start. I, I don't know. It, it's almost like, who are you to, to, to teach people on, on, on being leaders or like or stepping into governance? But I, I thought you might have some pointers for me as to where to start. You know, I, I think I, I think it's a really important idea. And um, I, I think you'll have to give it some real thought, like write up a, a you know, a, a, a vision document, a proposal that you could uh, uh, take to people, identify some people who you think uh, would support you. Uh, it doesn't have to be a, a huge commitment to begin with, but, you know, enough to get started. Uh, and look for, for those who share your uh, desire to open doors for more women uh, to be in those positions. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I think in every society, there are both women and men who know that the whole society and the economy would benefit if more women were in positions of responsibility, right? Mm -hmm. And if you can identify a handful of those and if they would be willing to basically invest in you uh, mm -hmm. to start something like this, uh, you could try to, you know, see whether it could, uh, you know, take flight.